Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Humbled Mumbles, coming at you with another video reaction. Um, uh, just recently, a few days ago, I did a uh, Stephen Pisani shout out to his um, memoirs to Lolly Vegas. And I play a little bit of snippets of Lolly Vegas' song, Come and Get Your Love. And then a couple of Stephen Pisani songs, which were amazing. And then I was going through my YouTube, you know, suggestion list or whatever you want to call it. And I saw this and I was like, I've got to play it. We've got to keep, we've got to keep the song alive. We've got to keep his memory alive. And maybe this will help out Mr. Pisani a little bit too. So let's, um, let's listen to this. Come and get your love live at the 1974 Midnight Special. And then in parentheses, it says Guardians of the Galaxy, because this is the song that's played at the beginning when... Um, Star Lord, and I can't think of his name out. Christopher Platt, I think his name is dancing and doing his little thing. So um, let's go. Let's listen to some Redbone together. Three hundred and sixty is the best we're gonna get, but that's okay. It's the music that's important. Actually, this is very important too. Real quick before they get into the music, just like any culture, you know, their dance is important. Just like, you know, Hispanics have their stuff. I mean, and they do, I know, from being an Hispanic. Um, and, and other cultures and the African culture and, you know, dance is important in different cultures and they express it. They don't all dance the same and there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, it's, it's, it's just an expression. It's a way they keep their culture alive. Sometimes they tell stories through dance, you know, so it's pretty cool. I think it's cool. So how many of you right now are picturing Star-Lord going through his little dance routine during the song? You know, you can't help it. The song the song is so iconic, and that, that beginning of that movie was so cool. You, know, you can't help but think about that sometimes. This is such a good song.
there you have it, Redbone, come and get your love. What a classic. And listen, it can't always just be about the new music. We also have to remember the old music, just like we have to remember, you know, our history. I mean, it's important. It's important. It's what made us what we are today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to be honest. I don't care if I get a single subscription off of this. This is not what this is about. This is just about keeping the music alive um, because one day, one day the music you listen to now is not going to be cool to your kids. It's just, it's the truth. It's the truth. I mean, every once in a while, you guys might get that kid that's like, my son likes a lot of my older music because, I mean, that's all he really listened to. I didn't let him listen to the new music. Um, but um, it's just the truth. My dad hated, you know, my music. You know, some of the music we might hear. Son's like, oh, you should hear this new thing my friends just showed me. I'm like, it's garbage. I'm sorry. But um, so there you go, guys. Name is Humbled Mumbles. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Jam out to this tune. And um, until next time, goodbye.